y'all, it's Alicia, and welcome back to Alicia's Crafty Hoplop, and as promised, I am back with Miss Lana Chin's Happy Mail, and I'm super excited. It came in a pizza box that has made it all the way around the globe, and I love that this pizza box has traveled down under to North America. It has been all over the place, which is super inspiring. It's a little damaged now, unfortunately, and that's probably the end of its journey. But how amazing is it that it has been recycled? And I chuckled because I know some of the people this went to personally and were friends. So I was like, yay! Folks, I, I was so excited to get this and I've been saving it. And it's all oh, a little sample of Daiso bags. First, I want to find the card because this was so sweet. And you're going to notice over the weekend, I'm going to upload the Happy Meals because I'm reorganizing. You know, I don't open anything. Excuse me. I have allergies because I'm really deep cleaning while I'm reorganizing. Uh, I don't open anything unless I open it with you. And I realized, why don't you open it, film it, and then upload them throughout the week? And then you could open everything, put it away, rather than have it. I've sort of been using a system to guarantee that I don't do anything out of order. And I realized, you could better this system, kiddo. So, oh, this is so pretty. Look at this note card, y'all. It's from Punch Studio. It's really pretty. When I find these at Tuesday morning, I find them um, so inspiring, actually, and so beautiful. Um, it's a long note. It's beautiful. Oh, wow. This is a beautiful... It's such a beautiful note. Um, so Lana wanted me to know that she was really inspired by the whole We Wishes. And uh, she said that 12 by 12 sheet inside the box screamed Alicia's crafty hoplop in terms of... I want to show it to you, but... It, it tore a little on the corner, Lana, because the box got torn on the corner. So I want to pry it out carefully. Otherwise, I would show everybody. But I loved that inside sheet. So you were right. It's very Alicia's Crafty Hop Lop. Um, I have liked... Uh, sorry, guys. You might not remember who Lana is. It's Nor Cali Girl, whose work I loved. And I told you all, I think she's super talented. So I like her aesthetic a lot. And... I was really excited when I saw this box and this was really sweet and I got some more ephemera. So here's what doing those embellishments really helped you with last week. Um, I have a list of people I'd like to make some little books for using Capital Chic, whether it's like an album type book or a brag book. But I really was curious how to maximize these because I want to share some and I want to make some embellishments for people and gift them. It's on my crafty aspirations list. But I couldn't figure out how I wanted to do these and embellishments until I did those Maggie and All Heart embellishments and they gifted me all sorts of inspiration. So now I actually know how I'm going to do these. So thank you so much because it means I can do more and share more and I can maybe even do giveaways with them, which I think will be really fun. Oh, it's a sampling of Daiso bags. So I did manage to get Dina uh, the as you all saw in her rack of love she got some Mickey Mouse bags with the Daiso but our Daiso was really small and didn't have what I see a lot of and so oh my gosh they are so cute see they didn't have any these are holographic -y and they say shining they're beautiful see they didn't have any of those oh and these are perfect timing for our holographic iridescent racks that are going to go out later this month <gasps> Look at these drink can bags. Oh, these are so cool. May you always be surrounded with happy smiles. Look at these. These are rockin' Daiso bags. These are not like regular Daiso bags. Oh, my. And these ones look like Dolce. Okay, look at these pink iridescent -y ones with the carousel. They're so like Dolce. Oh, yeah, they didn't have any of these. Thank you so much. They're beautiful. Oh, this, this is so, yeah, the timing of these Daiso bags. Lana is unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Oh, wow. And these are, these are Maggie Holmes. Okay, so Lana, can you tell me something? Is this from Craft Market? Is this from Craft Market? So this I've never seen before, and but it's got the colors of Craft Market. Craft Market is a retired Maggie Holmes collection. It's more retired than open book, but you can buy it on digitals. And how do I know that? Because I've been doing lots of investigating on digitals, folks. And oh my goodness, I love the color of these sentiments. 
See, normally we get pink or we get um, black, but these are like tea stained with pink and they are wonderful. They say like sweet moments, absolutely amazing. I think this might be craft market. I don't know how you got it, but I love them. Let me just see, does it say? It just says Cray Paper Maggie Holmes. This is like that pad that I got that was like one of Maggie's first paper pads. So it's not called anything. It's either that, and it may be because it has the same camera that's in my pad, or it could be craft market, but whatever it is, I love them. I love them so much. And you guys know I don't hoard. I may have to use them and I'm going to be very sad when they're gone because I, this aesthetic and these colors, this is my palette, right? Like the, the blue, pink, yellow, soft pink and hot pink. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. This is super. It is. It is that original pad. What did I just say? Lana, where did you find it? Because I looked on American Crafts. They didn't have it. Okay, guys, I knew it. See? Remember I told you all I fell in love with this pad and I never found it again? And I just said, this reminds me of either that pad or Craft Market because of this. Look. There's the exact same camera right there. It is from that collection. Lana, where'd you find it? Oh, guys. This is really exciting because this is my favorite Maggie Holmes pad, even more than open book, more than carousel, because it's vintage inspired Maggie Holmes. And I use it only for special projects, but like birthday projects, basically. Or if it's like, if it's something really, really, really serious, like someone's 50th wedding anniversary. Oh, Lana, thank you so much. Oh, I'm amazed. That's all I have to say. I'm amazed, but I'll tell you all something, you know, okay. So I'm investigating digitals. I Donna dreams and absolutely Alice have convinced me that digitals and Lily told me ages ago, but it just took me a long time to come to it. And I realized like, for instance, y'all, not only do you get more in the ephemera packs, not only do you get way more and you get so many different choices, but it's like, so inexpensive like one ephemera pack for you to own forever is two dollars and 99 cents that is all it's yours forever isn't that amazing and they have open book they have craft market i'm really and they have paper pads too now i'm a little more nervous about printing paper pads just because my printer is not great enough quality but i'm definitely i'm headed in the digital ephemera way I'm headed there, folks, without question. But Lana, I cannot believe you found this. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Folks, um, I've told you before, no, Kelly Girl's work is very inspired, and I'm going to put her contact information down below. For those of you who go on to Instagram, you know her work very well because she posts beautiful projects on there. For those of you on YouTube, you may be less familiar, but again, I'm going to strongly encourage you to support her. If she made videos, you would be blown away. If she made videos on a regular basis, you'd be blown away. But you know, folks, now on Instagram, many people are doing short videos. They're just doing these short video clips to reveal their work. And you really get a sense of it that way. So I'm going to put her, it's, it's Norcali Girl is, is her name on Instagram. And I, I'll put it down in the information box so that you can just click the link and follow her through. Her work is super inspiring. Lena, this was so thoughtful of you. Like, really, I cannot thank you enough. I cannot believe you found it. Wow. All right, y'all. I'm going to be back on with um, with one entry for the Thousand Subby Challenge. And then I'm going to go back to cleaning up. Because what I've done, which was very smart, and I should have done it earlier this week, is I pulled out everything noisy so I can continue working even when it's past the time so I can get more done. All right. I'm going to continue watching your videos, but I will be back on shortly after our break to do an entry to the thousand, thousand subby challenge and then i'll see y'all tomorrow lana thank you so very much folks again if you don't know narcali girl's work i'm strongly encouraging you to check her out she's really innovative she makes beautiful projects and i know that not everybody feels comfortable on instagram and look when i get super busy like this week it's the thing that drops from the to-do list but you get so much inspiration on there and you get to see so many amazing projects and you don't want to miss out on someone like Lana. You know, I know it's another step, 
I'll, maybe later on this weekend, I'll tell you all how I managed to, to get more in a rhythm of doing it again um, until this week hit and I ran out of time. But maybe I'll share that this weekend. Until then, uh, I hope whatever you do tonight, it's something joyful. I'm cleaning and watching your videos and you make that joyful. So thank you. Stay safe, everyone. Wash your hands lots. And just know that we're all thinking about each other and sending positive thoughts into this universe that we all stay safe and healthy during this crisis. Lana, thank you so much. All right, y'all. Bye for now.